Yes, I am OEBC Baba Tude Olusheyi. I'm from Nigeria and I work uh, with the Nigeria Network of NGOs. So what is your background? What did you study? What did you... I did, um, for my background, I did um, forestry technology and also agricultural extension and management. And um, I've used that experience in being able to create um, a network of uh, young people who are working in over 40 countries to actually be able to bridge the gap between um, rural young people and those who have access to the internet to discuss uh, global issues. And uh, that was that work uh, moved me to uh, the U.S. in 2008, where I was working with UNICEF on bridging that uh, gap, ensuring that rural young people in remote areas across Africa, Asia, and other parts of the world can actually feed into global discussions on issues that affect children and young people. Yeah. So what else? We were talking a lot about leadership here at the Global uh, Citizen... Citizenship Forum, it's called. Yes, Citizenship Forum. <laughs> uh, what is your understanding of leadership? What kind of skills does a leader in your position need? I think a leader needs to understand his followership, but also, more importantly, a leader must you know, listen, must be someone who has uh, the capabilities to, to be able to bring everybody together without bossing them, but um, you also have to be able to understand the fact that as a leader you must lead by example, and um, you must, whatever you can't do, you don't ask other people to do it. So you must be someone that knows everything and someone that doesn't know anything. So in some instances, you have to pretend to know when you don't know anything. And also in some instances, you have to know and be able, you know, to you know, guide uh, your followership. So it's, mm. um, it's uh, leadership for me is a thing that is, it's an ongoing process. You don't assume that you are a leader, except mm. there are a couple of people that sees you as one. But even when you are seen as a leader, you don't then use that position negatively. You want to mm. use it to influence positively. You want to use it to incite, you know, your supposed followers to be able to, you know, to do more mm. and for them to also aspire to become someone, you know, that will be able to lead others as a player. Mm. Do you consider yourself as a leader? Well, it depends on who you're talking to. I, I just, I'm talking to you. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> I agree. But I just see myself as myself. Maybe when we talk to other people, they might say, yes, we'll see him as a leader. Yeah. But um, I know there are a couple of people that see me as such, and um, I try as much as possible to you know, keep myself within a framework of doing what I needed to do in yeah. order to make the world a safer place. And yeah. in the course of doing that, if you, know, you didn't see me as a leader, mm. that's fine, but you know, I want my life to be yeah. one that you can think of and emulate or one that can motivate you to take mm. action. And, you know, I see a couple of people as my mentor or as my leader, but, you know, I don't necessarily, you know, go worshipping them or something. So, Who uh, are they, if I may ask? Yeah, I've got... Role um, models. I've got lots of them, and, you know, you start Just... mentioning that. But I've got uh, people like uh, Ms. Yemsir and Sonkuti, I've got people like uh, Mrs. Dayokeshi. I've got people like Otumba Delia Jai Smith. I've got people like Ambassador uh, Joe Keshi. I've got uh, people like uh, I think some some I like Barack Obama's uh, style. I've got uh, Kuminaidu. I've got okay. um, yeah Tajuddin uh, Abdurrahim is dead now. There are a whole lot of them, you know that you know. I've got my uncle, I've got my father, I've got my mother, I've got a couple of friends, I've got, you know... Okay, yes. so all over. All, all over, and, you yeah. know, I try to pick a couple of nice things that I see in them and use that, you know, in also mm. shaping yeah. you know, my, my life. What role do you think can young African leaders play to achieve something like global uh, citizenship? Yeah, I think for young Africans, it's important that, um, because we've got lots of stereotypes against us in Africa, it's important that we begin to do what is right and uh, awaken our consciousness in terms of mm. 
developing our communities and begin to use the lessons we've learned as you know models or as best practices in terms mm -hmm. of you know global citizenship i came in from Cameroon to this meeting and you know moving around a couple of places in Cameroon I see that you know the problems in Cameroon isn't that different from what we have in Nigeria and if we're able to solve that problem in Nigeria then we would have you know created a model or a best practice or a template for such problems to be solved in Cameroon mm. so we don't necessarily have to wait for someone from America from the UK from any developed economy to come and tell us how to do it because we would have used indigenous knowledge mm. in being able to do that yes we need to think locally and act you know uh, think globally and act locally but within that framework of you know thinking globally and acting locally we also don't want to neglect indigenous knowledge mm. in being able to address our, de mm. our development so as young Africans it's important that we look inwards and also begin to think in terms of social entrepreneurship yeah. how do we start a business that can fund some of the charity work that we would like to see in our community so is social entrepreneurship a big thing in Nigeria and Africa it's an I mean it's in, in Nigeria and Africa it's an imagined concept and um, this is a concept that I think you know if we we are able to, uh, to to create awareness on but also more importantly if we're able to have investors who are looking at impact investment then Africa would be a place to look, mm. you know to come into especially looking at the fact that you know many young people in Africa are tired mm -hmm. of you know the situation of things and they want to create change right. and if they've got business ideas that can fund that change then we need some impact um, investment or impact mm. investors who would look at that see this as a good idea that can drive change within the community and at the same time also bring some level of profit you know so that things are sustainable mm. I mean Nigeria if you look at Africa is, is certainly one of the Uh, bigger economies. Uh, do you see Nigeria somehow in a role model for other African countries? Yes. And in which ways? Well, I see Nigeria being a role model. It could be positive, it could be negative. For example, uh -huh. Ghana just got um, oil. It's oil. important that Ghana looks at the Nigerian experience in being able to manage its own economy very well. Yeah. And also, now Nigeria is stepping up and saying we would fight corruption because we've seen that corruption has you know, created more problems for us. Other African countries should begin to look at that and say, corruption created problems for Nigeria. Let's stop corruption now. How do you so, stop corruption in Nigeria? Well, it's a whole big uh, issue. And in, in being able to stop that, there is the need for individuals you know, to take responsibility to say, I won't give bribe and I won't take bribe. It's also important that we look at, you know, what our needs are and also our wants. Mm. If we're able to take care of our needs, then our wants should be forgone. So it's, uh, it starts from the individual, then it mm. then, you know, goes, goes to the larger society. Yes, we need institutions that can also enforce the law and ensure that, you know, when you go against the law, you actually face that penalty. Mm. And um, we do need champions, you know, mm. you know, within our system, our you know, private sector, our public sector, and also within the civil society sector, mm. who can you know come out and serve as models, you know, mm. for you know transparency, for accountability, mm. for equity, and but more importantly, we need institutions that can actually come mm. up and you know block you know uh, some of the loopholes that have mm. given rise to corruption mm. in the country. So the conversation we had here the last two days about uh, global uh, citizenship, uh, I would consider only a few Africans talk about this. Huh? Isn't it a kind of elite discussion? Or what do you plan if you come back, when you go back to Nigeria? Uh, do you think you can foster or drive a discussion this with your local people? Or don't they give... <laughs> well, certainly, this is something that should be taken forward. And you know, when you look at the concept itself, you know, like I did say in some one of the group meetings yesterday, that it might sound elitist, and this depends on the way you look at it. Because the concept of global citizenship itself is an imagined issue. There's no agreed definition to that term, so 
it's still a concept that is driven by civil society organizations. And within that concept, the characteristics that we see uh, uh, mainly is that of solidarity, is also that of um, um, that of civil society organizations trying to work within communities to create change. Mm -hmm. And it is a concept that might not actually sit well with my grandmother in the rural community and was like, what are you talking about, global citizen? Yeah. I haven't actually benefited as a national citizen of Nigeria. Now you're bringing another concept of global citizenship. But I see the concept as sitting more with you know the work that we do as civil society actors or as non-state actors, like trying to get communities to organize themselves in such mm. a way that there's development in that community and we act in as the bridge between what needs to happen and mm. what need government needs, you know, to do. Mm. Um, as discussions emerges it will be good also to see what the national context will be like, what are other you know uh, actors thinking in Nigeria on the concept of global citizenship. Okay. But it's good, you know, to keep this uh, ongoing and to see what connections we have in terms of, you know, the global and the local. Thanks a lot. Thank you for having me.